pick things up in the third quarter at Faro Field. The Longhorns had the lead at halftime, and the Mizzou had deferred in this game, had the ball here in the third quarter. This is a third and eight play, Gary, from your 17-yard line, and Blaine Gabbard comes up big with a deep throw down the middle to Denario Alexander for the catch. Hey, Denario had some nice nice plays in this game, and uh, obviously having a heck of a year. And uh, by taking against these guys replay here, uh, you know, one thing we, we, we talk about, if you watch them on film, you better set and get rid of the football. I don't care who you are, uh, because they're going to hit you. And uh, you know, they just play great defense, and it's a, it's, a, it's a struggle. Alden Smith again there with a nice play, and uh, really, really doing a lot of good things. Yeah, loss of three for Texas and Colt McCoy. Horns deep in their own end, but then on third and 13, McCoy to Shipley, 24 yards. Well, you know, it's uh, three deep. You've got a guy up the seam. The linebacker's got to bang the guy. Uh, they get a first down on the third and 13, which is obviously gets frustrating. And then the spoon comes back and makes a play and gets an interception and gives us good field position. Yes, Sean Weatherspoon makes the interception. You'll get a, another look at it. He's had a few of these in his stellar Tiger career. And he and Alden Smith both had 11 tackles and spoon the turnover. So you think, okay, maybe you get something here now with the turnover. Well, we tried a trick play that's worked in the past. Thought it would uh, possibly work here. They sniffed it out, did a good job, and uh, I shouldn't have called the play. So I allowed it to be called. and. Uh, um, you know, I thought you know we could get a big play and get some momentum going, and uh, obviously it didn't work real well. And again, ag against this team, you better get rid of the football. And uh, I don't care how, how what, what you're doing. And uh, Blaine's going to be okay. I mean, he was fine there. He just kind of tweaked it a little bit, but uh, decided to get him out after that. Probably a wise decision. And Texas with the ball, and Hunter Lawrence, the uh, veteran Longhorn kicker, boots it through, 39 yards on the field goal. 38-7 Texas, 3:46 to play in the third. Well, you know we, uh, we you know we put uh, Jimmy Costello in. He was struggling a little bit moving the football, and uh, the play did better on defense in the second half. We gave up six points, but offensively, uh, you know, couldn't get anything going. Fourth quarter now, and Costello's in there with the Tiger offense, and uh, Devin Moore runs for 12 yards, and then we'll see Devin rip off a nine-yard carry, and uh, Moore and, and Lawrence really give you. Some speed, don't they, at that position? Yeah. You're spelling Dewash. Well, we got some good, uh, you know, we got some, uh, you got some, uh, a junior, a sophomore, and a freshman in there, and uh, all three are talented. Uh, they're they're different in some ways, but uh, uh, it's a good, tough running by Devin right there. But uh, I think they all work well together. Costello to Denario over the middle for another reception, and Coach Pinkles, right? What a year Alexander's putting together. He's up around 700 yards now, of at least five touchdowns. Uh, he's just having a big time senior season. Yeah, well, he's a heck of a competitor. And uh, uh, here we go with Kendall Lawrence, again a freshman, and uh, I got a lot of young players in that field, and uh, they'll get better. And, and this is a really well thrown ball. Receiver just did not uh, execute like he's supposed to. That just not Jimmy Costello's fault in any way. And uh, you know, if you're not executing well, things like that happen. So. Uh, it does, you know, one thing about football is it doesn't take rocket science to figure out problems. Uh, my job is to get them corrected and um, I got to do a better job. Shockey Brown had the Texas interception, then Garrett Gilbert came in at quarterback spelling Colt McCoy. Uh, Garrett Gilbert, the son of former NFL quarterback Gail Gilbert, and uh, Texas moving it a little bit here would settle for a field goal attempt of 44 yards that Hunter Lawrence makes and that uh, increases the Longhorn lead to 41 to 7. That would turn out to be the final score. We'll see some defensive plays from your guys in the second half. And uh, your guys battled, certainly. They were still competing. It was just a 6 0 count, as it turned out, in the second half at Faro Field. Texas with the two field goals. Unfortunately, Missouri never could get any points on the board. No, and, you know, we uh, got you know, Jimmy Costello some work at the end, which is, which is probably good. And uh, uh, got Blaine out of there, which, from a healing standpoint, his ankle was probably positive. But defense uh, hung in there. and. Uh, but overall, uh, you know, not near as uh, good a performance as what uh, my expectation level was. Coaches, Tigers dropped to uh, four and three. Uh, Blaine had precautionary x-rays uh, in the fourth quarter, but you think he'll be fine for Colorado as far as you know now? Yeah, he's fine. He was walking fine afterwards and uh, you know, probably more frustrated than anything else. Yeah. Tough kid, isn't he? Yeah, tough, tough competitor. You know, it's hard to, you know, you play 95% and then you tweak it and then you're... Uh, so, but ho hopefully it was a lot better this week than it was week before. So hopefully next week he'll be uh, very close to 100%. percent we'll let you know that this week's Missouri Employers Mutual Players of the Week are a couple of Tiger defenders. The senior linebacker, Sean Weatherspoon, and the redshirt freshman, Alden Smith. 
Both these Tigers had 11 total tackles. Smith had two sacks. Weatherspoon had that interception of the Colt McCoy pass in the third quarter. MEM, the state's number one provider of workers' compensation insurance.